Had some extreme heat yesterday. Uh, heat index values in the triple digits yesterday. It was the hottest day of the year so far with a high of 95 in Milwaukee, 95 in Racine. Far from the record. It's 101 was the record high uh, for yesterday. So uh, this is the hottest time of the year, uh, traditionally, late July, early August. Uh, Storm Chaser stats this morning. Uh, we have a current temperature. It is mild. It's 71.4 degrees out here in the dew point. Also hovering around 70. It is a humid air mass this morning. I can hear the air conditioning in the distance, 72 uh, right now, the dew point in Milwaukee. Uh, so steamy dew point still this morning, but that will improve this afternoon. I think we're going to see a downward trend with our humidity as the afternoon goes on. Uh, still you know, somewhat humid on Tuesday, uh, but middle 60s, not nearly as bad as over the weekend. Uh, right around 60, which isn't bad at all for late July on Wednesday, and then a very refreshing air mass moving in here uh, by Thursday. Weather headlines, slow cooling trend. Tuesday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, we have a chance of some thunderstorms popping up again, and then beautiful for the rest of the week. So let's maybe hope for that rain chance. Obviously, I don't want to ruin anybody's plans, but uh, that's our only chance of rain uh, this week. That'll be Tuesday afternoon. So Storm 4 Max radar across southeastern Wisconsin. We are quiet for now. Still cannot rule out a stray shower uh, that will be possible uh, south of Milwaukee. Uh, we still have a front that's kind of draped right across southeastern Wisconsin, and you can see the showers across Iowa, Missouri. There's a chance one of those sneaks in here later on this morning south of Milwaukee. I'd put it at maybe a 20 to 30 percent chance of that. Uh, future forecast shown by this afternoon, any chance of rain is gone, and uh, we're going to have a breeze out of the northwest about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Mainly clear skies tonight. Lots of stars overhead, and we are looking good uh, through tonight. And then by tomorrow morning, again, a mostly sunny sky to start. It's tomorrow afternoon, I'd say, after 1 o'clock, a chance of some pop-up showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. Now, there could be some good downpours with these, not expecting much in the way of severe weather. Of course, we'll watch things and monitor things. And uh, tomorrow evening, still maybe some showers and storms around south of Milwaukee by 11 o'clock. Then we'll be in the clear for Wednesday. How much rain? Well, we could get some good downpours here. Now, I don't think everybody's going to see a lot of rain, but some spots could pick up a decent amount. We'll put the potential at about a half to three quarters of an inch of rain, but uh, again, maybe some spots. This computer model runs showing our northern spots not picking up anything at all, so uh, we'll just have to uh, track those storms a little bit uh, more as they get closer to us. Your forecast for today, isolated showers south this morning, just a, maybe a 20% chance of that. Uh, the rest of us completely dry, a high of 85. For tonight, a low temperature of 60 six degrees, mainly clear skies. And here's your seven day forecast. Those showers and storms tomorrow afternoon, 84 for the high on Wednesday, 81 degrees, mostly sunny skies. And then cooler temperatures by Thursday, a high of only 78, low humidity, beautiful weather here. Th Friday's more of the same, 77, mostly sunny. Saturday, 80, mostly sunny. And then Sunday, partly cloudy with a high of 83 degrees. Honestly, Pete, much of this week is looking great. It looks like a great forecast to end July. All right, Brian, that's great to hear. Thanks. The temperatures of the Great Lakes right now, just like our weather, the warmest on record. That's good news for swimmers, but it's also creating some problems and questions about what's causing that spike. Here's NBC's Kevin Tibbles. The largest body of fresh water on the planet, and this year the Great Lakes, all 94,000 square miles of them, are warmer. The water is warm and very nice. 6 to 11 degrees warmer to be exact, a balmy 71 on Lake Michigan today. It's actually quite warm. I might actually get in today. In Lakes Erie and Ontario, water temperatures are spiking like never before. The others, Michigan, Huron, and even Mighty Superior, are much warmer much earlier in the summer season. We usually put this at the surface to measure temperature. Andrea Vanderwood is a doctor of oceanography who monitors this precious source of fresh water year round. We had less ice cover this past winter. That still meant sun was getting into the top surface of the lake and warming the lake. Is this climate change? We don't know. On Lake Michigan here, we've had a record for temperature over 30 years. Somewhat of a snapshot of a climate change. Commercial fishing is a billion dollar industry here. And this is prime salmon season. Dana Bonney 